All right, fired up. Just make it day. All right, we still here. Toronto, does Toronto still need us, Michael? Or yeah, no, we're here. No, no I know we're not leaving. You want to wriggle it? We did. Yeah, they're good. There we go. Huh? <laughs> Nicola. Are you going uh, to the march from the back here? Or? Nice. <laughs> I go on a uh, <laughs> I go on uh, golf golf trip every year. Really? See great shit too. He uh, he was like your kind of mentor in the agent business and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh really? Oh okay. I don't really notice it when they're playing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Me neither. I was going to ask you earlier, but I was like, I could see Nuremberg winning 4 1. Like, you know, if Zega Doolin's not awesome, I could. But the Russians just mail it in again. Ninety percent of Europe. So. Why does it look like, like that TV saw? Plays a ton for them. I don't think he's very good. You know, like there's a few guys out there that I don't think are very. The big Platonov. I don't think he's very good. I don't mind. He moves well for the six foot four guy. Like Chibisov looks like me playing Div One directly, like just lugging around out there. Like. <laughs> Chris Knirka. You gotta get it. Yeah, so it's a good spiel. Hey, Franco. Buona partita. The last yeah. game. Well, that's number one, right? To get over there. Oh, yeah. bad for the guy because he doesn't want yeah he doesn't want to suck like he, he just can't get around him that was what they brought him in for he started it too uh, i don't think Raddy's gonna be around anymore. i think the same thing that's kept him out so far is just gonna keep keeping him out and he just doesn't get around him. but he's a really talented
Okay. Okay. Good morning, Canada. Dustin Nielsen alongside Doug Honiger, and we get set for win or go home time here at the Spangler Cup. It is Magneta Gorse, the club out of the KHL, uh, taking on the Nuremberg Ice Tigers out of Germany. And Doug, at some point, this Russian club needs to wake up. watched a lot of KHL clubs come over here and run the table on people. Have you ever seen one score just one goal in regulation in the first two games? Back-to-back -to -back games in this tournament for the Ice Tigers. They played the final game yesterday, and they're back on the ice here to start today. That's three games in about two and a half days for Nuremberg. Nicholas Troit will, will be in net again. He started the first game of the tournament. I thought he gave him a pretty good chance in that first game. Had the rest yesterday, so he's good to go here today, as are we, and we are underway just over 20 seconds in the puck will slide down into the corner for Brandon Buck. Knocks it in behind the goal, and it's gonna come all the way around to the blue line, sent wide, and back down the ice here. It'll be trickling all the way down to Tom Gilbert, who logged a lot of minutes yesterday for this club. Back of Ryan and wheels back, grabs it, throws it across to Ryloff, who moves it ahead. It's put high and down the ice, and that'll be an icy call as Festerling goes back to touch it there for Nuremberg. There's a lot of talent on this team for Magneto Gorse. I don't know if they've been, they've been robbed a couple of times, but as their head coach said before the game, or their assistant coach, Victor Kozlov, they just need to get a little greasy around the net. Stationary down, okay? And you too, you are second. Then pass on. You are first on the stick. Yeah, yeah. But then pass. Then he comes and then Talented big man, stick though. One. You're right. Good job, boys. All right, Honaker, give me your hunch for the game here. That would be, uh, that'd be okay. I'd take Nate Nita Gorse versus the Canadians. We saw Canada versus Nuremberg last night. And it was, was a convincing victory for the Canadians as this one's all the way down the ice. No icing here. Going back to pick it up there is the giant six foot nine defenseman Nevis. Plays it up the right wing side for Peace. Peace had a couple of good looks yesterday. He got off the ice pretty quick there. Now in the neutral zone, this will be broken up. Acton tosses it back to Bender. He throws it across to Yersina, who had a long NHL career. Now 
controlled in the corner. This will be reversed by Vasiliev and plays it back down in behind the net. Up through the middle. They try to go there. That's going to be broken up. Fox couldn't control it. Pops right into the high slot. Lucina picks it up. Throws it in behind. An excellent look. Brandon Siegel walking in one-handed on goal. Just couldn't catch up to that puck. And Dega Doolin, easy stop. Now the other way, that pass is dropped there by Yazkov. He's knocked in behind the goal. Gilbert in there, battling for Nuremberg. Siegel will pick it up and puts it high. Right wing side, Gilbert wants to skate onto this, and he will. He gets it just inside the blue line, knocks it in behind the goal. Bass goes back in there to try to pick it up for the Ice Tigers. He's going to be reversed here to Dukarev, and Dukarev moves it around far side. Now it'll come back in again. Picking it up there, Virukov. Gives it away. Oh, fun and opportunity. Zega Doolin flashes out his left pad. Puck comes back to Bass. Decent start here for the Ice Tigers. Now the puck will come out to the neutral zone. Decent jump for a team that played last night. Now here is Ellison, the former Red Deer Rebel. Top 10 all time in KHL scoring. He'll play it down in behind the net. Troy Luff, former Arizona Coyote, comes out, moves it up the ice. Settled down there by Vasiliev. Kuleman misses Ellison with that feed, and it'll be turned over here. And the Ice Tigers will try to get back to center. Pass behind the intended target of Reimer, who we're hoping they catch up to in one of the intermissions. He'll slide down into the corner. Reimer's going to be alone in front, and he scores! Second of the tournament. Johnny on the spot with the one-timer. Beats Zagadulin, and the Ice Tigers on top, Done such a good job covering the slot so far in this tournament. I'm surprised he was that wide open. Now trying to bounce back. We will chat with Reimer in the first intermission, as I mentioned. And now Mebus will head into the corner here. Comes back up top to Brown. Drops it back. And now Lalonde with his team in front, 1 0. Sends his puck down the ice. Now it'll be brought ahead, right side, and chipped down the ice in behind the goal. Yersino on it there for the Ice Tigers. They move it ahead, given away. It'll be turned over to Boulure. Boulure, the chip piece off to his right. Boulure's going to try a shot. That was blocked and bounced into the corner where Yersino moves it up around the board. Trying to save the legs, play a little tighter defense. Here's Galur in behind the net. Turn, shot from a bad angle. Save made there by Troitlust. Loose puck's going to be scooped up by Lubomov. Lubomov trying to cut out front. A nice move, but lost the handle on it. Now to be played back here to Vasilya at his first game of the tournament and he'll drop it off it'll be brought up through the ice by Yazkov Yazkov cuts wide trying to do it by himself pokes it to the far boards now down into the corner chasing in after it to get a little bit of help Yazkov comes up with the loose puck bouncing around Koitla down and it'll slide into the corner now back to Zaitsev he'll throw it across far side Matushkin back up high gets it back a nice give and go and it's fired wide blocker of Koitla now they'll dig in the corner. This is Gilbert battling away. 
knocks it in behind the goal, controlled there by Weber, who didn't play yesterday, so some fresh legs on that front. Now out to the neutral zone. Matushkin, you like him so far, Matushkin. Now down into the corner. Marcolo Mayev will battle there. It's taken away. Buck moves it ahead and a little bit of room to wheel. That's what they're going to do. They'll get the blue line. Wanted a shot. Not going to get it. Now from a bad angle off the side of the goal. Rebound into the corner. Jason Bass with an opportunity walking in. Double teamed and eventually lost the puck. Trickle in behind the goal. He never saw it, but Buck will come in and pick it up. Backdoor feed, a nice one. Nevis got a stick on it. Shot up off the face of Kuhleman. We'll get an update on him when we return. Nuremberg with a 1-0 lead over the KHL club. Yeah, it looked like, luckily it looked like it hit the visor. Yeah, you talked about yesterday. Yeah, you're not seeing my jump. Yeah, that was a good. It was Toidal. 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 We are at the Belliant Arena in Davos. Spengler Cup, do or die territory now, and a good start for the Nuremberg Ice Tigers out of Germany. They have a 1 0 lead on this Magnitogorsk club that has struggled mightily for offense so far. Pagarinen picks this one off, moves it ahead to Dorofeyev. Dorofeyev drops it down there to Rasmussen. Rasmussen will take it in the corner. Moves it back up right side. Mershagin keeps it in. Nevis has Rasmussen tied up. Steps in, and that's a great feed up the ice there from Nevis. It's Reimer again looking for help. Finds it. Off the bar. What a wicked shot there once again from Leo Figuero. Back the other way. Rasmussen now. Will he keep it? Knocked off the puck. How about that wrister from Figuero? Couple of inches away from putting them up 2 nothing. Now a turnover, Belour, can he get there in time? No, knocks it off the side of the goal. It'll be scooped up, given away. Some sloppy hit play here from the Ice Tigers, but they'll eventually get it out to the neutral zone. And out of harm's way to Birukov. Shabisov, back to Birukov. Rylov out there now as well. Shabisov, the big fellow's got some room to wheel. He's by himself. He'll get the blue line cut wide, shot through. Coyle knocks it into the corner. And all the way back out to the neutral zone. Rylov, an excellent scoring chance yesterday on a breakaway. Fires it all the way around with the help there. Of Barukov now in front, off the post the other way. Vladislav Dukarev. He had an excellent look. He had some good jump last night. Looks like he's got good jump again here today. Vasiliev. Playing pass here in behind the goal. Now they will slowly move it ahead. Vershagen, right wing side. From center ice. They'll poke it down into the corner. Back on it there is Fox. Turns it up the boards. Festerling one hands it there. Lurk following up on the play. Can't get to it. Kept in. Right in front. Backhander denied. Penalty coming up. Nice save there from Nicholas Doyle. But it will be a power play drawn here by Matt Ellison, who is all alone in front. A 
was an excellent shot. Absolutely excellent shot. There's a bar the other way. Good job, boys. Good job. Very nice. Power play makes Nidegorst first of the game. They have not scored yet in the tournament on the man advantage. They're 0 for 7 so far. That's not going to help. Stumble along the board. Knock down in behind the net. They'll bring it around on the near side for Bartholomew. Ellison back to Bartholomew. Didn't play in the first game. Did dress in their second one. Now Shagan back to Bartholomew. Left wing side. Ellison down low. Throws it across. Went off the defender. And Troyla got a bad down. Troidal now has three saves, a couple of them of the glorious variety. Had a crack in North America as well. Now down low in the corner. Ellison knocked off the puck, but turned and fired down the ice there by Aronson. One point through the first two games for Aronson, an assist. Vera Shagan here, dumps it off for Lure with some speed. Tried to make a move, not a good idea. Reimer takes it away. Reimer walking in. And good calm save there by Zagadulin. Awful turnover by Magnitogorz there. And now here's another opportunity. Short-handed. This time it's Will Acton. Acton walking in. Backhander. Hooked at the last second. No call. He'll come back to the point. Wide open in front. Brown denied. Lost the handle on it. Three excellent scoring chances. Short-handed for the Ice Tigers. There has not been a short-handed goal yet in this tournament. Russians may give one up today. Acton will head off here. Chatted about him in our open today. Now it's brought in inside the blue line. Put back another turnover. A play it up the right side. Some fresh legs here over the boards. Cutting wide. Fasten will take it in behind the goal. Still going. Has some help back to the point. He's just going to go for escape. Back to even strength now. Penalty kill. Effective for the Ice Tigers. Surprised me a little bit. I thought they were getting away with that one. How troubling is it here? Look at this, wide open. So how troubling is that if you're the head coach of McNeidegor seeing your power play right now? That was probably the worst power play we saw the entire time. Centered out front. Toidal down. Puck never got through. Brought back the other way here by Buck. He's going to try to cut wide on his backhand. Tried to go short side. Comes all the way around. Kuhlman on it there. Buck will tie him up, falls to the ice. Kuhlman brings it in. Drops it back. Bartholomew. Bartholomew trying to walk around one man. Now flips it back up to the point. Zaitsev with a shot. Toidal gets the pad on it. Puts it back around to Nikolenko. Nikolenko will send it on goal. And Toidal has to stretch out to get the glove on it. He hasn't been beaten yet. Ice Tigers leading 1-0. Power play was awful. Like, that was just awful. Oh. Well, I, I'd like to see them lose, but at the same time, I don't want to do another candidate murder. Yeah. You do, eh? 
you want to see. Yeah, here we go. I saw different. Welcome back to Davos, everyone. Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you. And we are three getting seconds, ready to drop seconds, the puck here with less than eight minutes to play in the I take opening position period. First, the perfect. Ice Tigers don't look like this is their third game in three days. There's some jump there. That'll be dropped into the corner. Across here for Zaitsev. Zaitsev moves it ahead. Durakev pokes it past one defender. Adarinson now he tracks it down in the corner. Reverses it in behind the goal there for Yazkov. Yazkov swings it up high. He's on his backhand here. He'll drop it off for Matushkin. Matushkin tied up. Fox comes in, picks it up, and knocks it all the way down the ice. That'll go the distance for icing with less than seven minutes to play in the first. The winner of this game will advance to take on Team Canada, who has a day off today, but they are going to skate for an hour this afternoon. What blew my mind when I first got here is that they just covered it. Like it was always just an outdoor rink. It's a nice little facility. That's what Canada skating today. Right now, actually. Now it'll be brought ahead and up the ice by Lurk. Lurk trying to cut wide. And Rylov would have none of that. Knocked him off the puck. Come around far side. And that one bounces over the stick of Rasmussen. Back to Ryloff. He'll just calmly skate it up the blue line. They're making a change here. He'll reverse it and loop him off. We'll get the blue line on his off wing. Stops the shot through. Coidle bobbles it. Puck support is there. Fedoro will take it for the Ice Tigers. Moves it up to Mevis. Tried to give it back. Missed his man. Lubomov takes over. To Bisov back up front. Lubomov shot along the ice. Looks like his stick was tied up. Trickled into the corner. Vasilyev. They'll keep it in at the blue line. Some pressure now here from Magnitogorsk. Back to Vasilyev. Vasilyev lets one fly. Toidal this time able to hang on. Is that what they're known for? The give and goes? And Down. He's looked good. He hasn't looked as good as some other goaltenders in the event, but he has looked good so far. Nevis couldn't get it. Acton's going to try to track this thing down. He's knocking him behind the goal. And Matus going to go back here to control for Magnitogorsk. Moving it ahead. That's going to be broken up. Let's flip it ahead. An opportunity. Brown, he's just going to step in the one. He hammers it wide. Blocker side. Probably a right idea just to try to get one on net there. Zaitsev plays it to Kuhlman. He's going to be forced back into the corner. And around to Barashaga. Back to Zaitsev. And Zaitsev is just going to slow things down. Slowly ahead in front of his net. Gives it to Barukov. Barukov ices the puck on a horrible breakout. Are asking the wrong person, Mr. Honiger. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. He could have gotten the red line. There was nobody between okay. him. And that okay. was weird. No slashing. Okay. Six on the white, blue on the white. Perfect. Here's Barukov again. He'll go high off the glass. That'll be gloved down there by Gilbert. Knocks it back. Siegel will throw it over on the far side. Weber back there for the Ice Tigers. Watch very closely here. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Nekolenko with some good pressure. We'll come back to help out. Now Tom Gilbert will grab it. Gilbert 
off the skates. Good look there with some pressure. Now it'll be a race down the ice. Knocked in behind the goal. Barukov backhands it around, waiting for it here on the near side is Jaskov. Jaskov moves it ahead. Reloff in over the blue line. Drops it off. Far side. Shot coming there. Hit a leg. Scooped up to the blue line. Not out. Kept in. Barukov sends it towards the goal, looking for a deflection from Rasmussen, who got a piece, but it's up and out of play. He's played in one of the two games so far with uh, Barukov there. Now it'll bounce to Rasmussen. Rasmussen, Pakarainen. He'll need some offense from this group. Pakarainen couldn't come up with it. Taken away. And eventually out to the neutral zone where Pakarainen will grab it again and send it in. Troidel out in behind his own goal. And plays it around far side. Bouncing away. It'll be brought up through the middle of the ice and with a little bit of speed. This is Bassin. Bassin cutting in on his backhand. Back to the forehand for a Quick little shot. Good hustle here by the Ice Tigers to keep this play alive. Trying to come back to Bass. Their D-men were making a line change, so Mevis will have to hurry up and get this in the neutral zone. Back in with some room. Buck a shot. They could do Lynn the save. It comes right back to Buck in the far corner. He's going to circle the zone. Plays it in behind the goal. Bass was hoping it would get to him. It does. They could do Lynn decides to step out and knock it into the corner. Bassin with Bast. Now they're joined by Beast. It'll be played around right side, sliding down there alone. Excellent pressure here from the Ice Tigers. They lead 1-0, less than three minutes to play, and a penalty coming up against Nuremberg. A little bit of a buzzkill there, Dougie. Zaitsev gets it back, looks to the far right side. He has Bluer, decides to drop it. He'll be brought ahead here by Lubomov, trying to walk in, tied up, drops it back. Bullure at the blue line, back to Matushkin. Far side. Tabisov walks the line. Down low, six on five here for Meg Niedergorsk. Tabisov, pressured, good back pass. Far side, opens up some room. Waiting on the far boards. They'll move it down low to Bullure. He's got Lubomov in the high slot. Tabisov. Bullure, back down to Tabisov. Traffic in front. Can't get the puck there, though. Now they'll send it down low, side of the net. Comes all the way back around, and they'll have to clear the zone. I'd like to get a puck on goal there, wouldn't you? Kuhlman will drop it here for Tabisov. Played about a minute now with the net empty. And the puck sent towards the goal. It'll pop down into the car corner for Varfolo Mayev. Barukov along the line, back to Varfolo Mayev. Got a man down low with Ellison, gives it to him. Ellison with some room, throws it across. Tabisov couldn't get it clean. And finally, the puck will be touched as big Tabisov gets taken down with just under a minute and a half left. Trying to get his stick up and over. Yep. Stick. Off the draw, a little bit of a weird drop. It's gonna be knocked all the way out into the neutral zone. Marfolo Mayev, near side for Rasmussen. He'll drop it back, gives it away, and Zegadulin, good idea. He's going to come out here and play this puck away because his power play with a train wreck in front of him so far. He'll try again. Rasmussen gets the blue line just on side, drops it back. Marfolo Mayev's going to settle it down. Side of the goal. Doyle can he cover it up? He will with less than a minute to play. We'll have another offensive zone faceoff for the Magnitogor's power play.
pass it wide first, down correct and no moving on the white leg. Back to the point, bobbled, knocked away. This is Siegel, he's gonna pick it up on his off wing. Siegel, a backhander, Zegadulin saw that coming. No room short side. Bisoff dropped it off to Belur. Belur couldn't control. All power plays combined in this tournament so far, operating at just 6%. So it's not been a great tournament for the power plays. Five on three may change that, Dougie. What's your language oh, and sit down now? Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. I tell you what, sit down. High stick. <laughs> he uh, he didn't like the call. I guess is how we could. Half of that right now. If they don't score, they got just over 30 seconds on the clock. Stick down. Five Guys. on three. Stick down into Martin's first. Stick. Magnitogors Stick. down by one. No control off the draw. Back to the point. Vereshagin gives it up. Ellison down low. Ellison up top. He's got Vereshagin to his left. Gives it to him. Vereshagin waits. Moves it down low. Varfolomeyev. Varfolomeyev hesitates. Comes across to Alice. Ellison in the puck. Too hot to handle. Less than 10 seconds now. Ellison walks in with his shot. Wide blocker. Comes all the way around. Vereshagin can't keep it in. And that's going to do it for the opening period, Doug. It'll be a five on three to start period number two. And they need a course. They're just going to have to step the game up a bit here. Ice Tigers playing their third game in three days. They have a 1-0 lead courtesy of the goal from Patrick Reimer, who will be our guest in the first intermission coming up here. Magnitogors trailing 1-0 after one. Okay, I'm heading down.
Yeah, I'm right here. Doug just sit next to me. He's not on yet, but he's here. So we were told that he would just be by at some point during this game. They're right next to us here, so. Yeah. Durham had seven and Lake Newport's had nine. Best, the best moment of that hockey game was the three shorthanded scoring chances for Nuremberg. That was it. So they want to come watch this Russian team? I can't hear you, Michael. Can you hear him? No, I can't hear you. Oh, baby! Here's a shot now. <laughs> well, Russian Club, uh, 1972. Mike, Michael, I still can't hear you, but isn't this the same thing that happened yesterday? This is the same time. That it happened yesterday. First game, first period. I'm assuming you, you'll probably get me back with like 90 seconds. Is, is that Switzerland? Oh. Pretty good. Ah, gotcha now, yep. Man, Bob Cole's a legend. I love Bob Cole. Oh, baby. Where was that bro? That looks sketchy. <laughs> Does he do that? Really? Love it. This thing, like,
I'm not a big fan of it, but I know you guys don't prefer that way. Hey, whatever works for you guys. I mean, if they go to the box one, right, the box one, you guys, the best team deals can hold tight. You only got to play in here. Don't get sucked out of on the top. If they go to more of an umbrella, you guys got to come out the front a little bit. Justin Nielsen alongside Doug Honger at Valiant Arena in Davos, Switzerland. The beginning of do or die day here at the Spangler Cup. And right now, a lot of doing from the Nuremberg squad. A lot of dying so far from Magnitogor. Acton, Aronson, and Festerling out there on this huge penalty kill for the Ice Tigers. Acton off the draw, kind of chops this thing down the ice, forces Meg Niedegorst to reset. we we'll get the blue line and try to set things up. That's Rasmussen. Drops it off, goes to the net. Ellison, back up top, Pakarainen. Vereshagin, down low for Rasmussen. On the goal line, back up top, across. Pakarainen one timer. That hurt a little bit. Ellison, there's Shagan. He'll try. Troidel takes it in the chest. Just a five on four for less than a minute. Rasmussen with Kuhlman parked in the slot. Back up to Vereshagin. Back to Rasmussen. Off the wall. Down low for Ellison. Bounced off his skate right back onto the tape of Rasmussen. Ellison in behind the net now. Rasmussen corner. Kuhlman in front. Rasmussen up high. Low percentage pass. Got picked off there, but Barfolo may have been able to go get it. Marfolo may have. Kuhlman scores! Nikolai Kuhlman, power play marker as he fires it past the outstretched glove of Nicholas Troidel. One for three now in this game. And we are tied at one. Nikolai Kuhlman with the goal here to tie it. Varfolo Mayev with the lone assist. Interesting to see here how the Ice Tigers bounce back. Do you really get devastated when you give up a power play goal? I mean, they're going to happen once in a while, right? between goals in this tournament for Magneto goal. He's escaped. Blue is escaped. That's a warning for you. That's a warning. I don't want to give a penalty, okay? Yeah. Blue? <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit more as we work our way through the broadcast. Bouleur had a head of steam, but he was going to be caught offside. They'll have to regroup.
Ryloff sends one towards the goal, laying there, picked up. And now Bastin's gonna go for a skate the other way. He's got Bast and Buck with him. Gets the blue line, finds Buck. Buck with a shot, tried to go top corner. Zegadulin got just enough. Back to the point here for Gilbert. Gilbert sends one through, loose puck there, batted down the ice. Now we talked a little bit, you mentioned the, uh, the in-play betting and stuff. So when you come up outside the arena here, they've got the machines, you go up, you place the ticket on the game, and it's something we're gonna see probably on a regular basis in North America. Yep. White skate. Stick. Skate and you white. He's on the blue, uh, on the right spot. There's a shot here to lay. Just a matter of time for that one. Now here's a turnover. Walking in, Nikolenko with a shot. Troidel just squeezed enough of it. Took a quick glimpse behind, but he's got it. Kind of in no man's land there, but he was able to Too hang early. on. He shot 10 of 11 so far, but maybe the best jump we've seen from McNeil is McNeil, of course, getting this whole tournament done. Now down the ice, Festerling had turned to go back and get it. And he was being chased there by Dukarev, but it'll go for icing, some pushing and shoving just inside the far blue line, but the linesman will step in and separate him. Get on here. Hey, buddy, buddy, stay. Okay, well done, okay? <laughs> it's fine. They sound so polite. How could you argue with them? Now out to the neutral zone. Knocked back in here and picked up by Fox, overskated it. Neutral zone again, Fester Lingel. Backpedal inside his own blue line, pass ahead. Off the stick of Siegel, onto the stick of Nekolenko, and he'll play it back to Vasiliev in the corner. Now up the boards. Kukarev couldn't come up with it, gets a little bit of help, and they'll eventually knock it in deep. Too many men on Magnitogorsk. I thought this one was close, but they got him and they did not hesitate. Josef Yandok, the head coach of Magnitogorsk, not happy. It's clear for everybody. Please give me one player. Please give me one of these. That's no big mistake. Can you explain him? You watch it then. Choose the number, choose one number. Hey. Please give me a player. And he said no. <laughs> Pavel Dorofeyev will head over and serve. Is it rare for a Czech coach to be running a Russian club? No? Okay. That's your warning. You yep. just go against the stick. You have to play the puck. Okay, guys, stay out and play the puck. Get back. Stick. Stick. Puck dropped into the corner. Matushkin hammers it around. Kept in right point. Gilbert, far side. Excellent look. And Fedoro, just a swing and a miss. But Gilbert let that puck fly quickly. Federal goes back here to grab it. He'll have a little bit of room to skate. Some pressure coming now. Turnover there by Reimer. And he'll go back to get it.
We are tied at one. Winner of this game will advance to the semifinal to face Canada. Gilbert almost found the girl again. Gilbert now skates it ahead. Drops it back. And Reimer will bring it in. Feathers it down to Acton. Acton has it slide a little bit further down there. It was onto the stick of Bass, but taken away and played down the ice. Now in behind the goal, they'll slowly move it ahead. Lalonde drops it back. Acton now. Acton through the middle for Buck. Buck lost the handle on it as he went to burst through the defense. And now Kuhleman, the goal scorer for Magnitogorsk, gives it away. Buck in behind the goal. Acton, right boards, walks in with a shot. Another crack at it, still laying there. He's hooked up, he draws a penalty. Troidel to the bench. And Ryloff will touch it. And that will be a brief five on three coming up here. Got to get a face-up win here. Nuremberg's power play coming into this game was 2 for 8. The only team in the tournament to strike twice on the power play. Straight. And that 25% actually puts them at the best power play in the tournament coming into this game. Maybe because of that guy, Reimer, he can hammer it. They try to throw it across to Fiduro. That's going to be broken up, up in the air, laying there. And they'll keep it alive. Reimer again. Now a 5-on-4. Reimer shot a hot one. Zagadulin took it off the chest. Gilbert takes a look behind him. And it's coming out of the penalty box there. Make Niedergorst, Doral Fea. Now Reimer, down into the corner for Fiduro. Fiduro, he's got a wicked shot, circles back, taking his time. Watched closely there by Doral Fea. Fiduro, no movement here. He walks down low, now throws it out front, and it's through the legs of East. again, he'll drop it back. Fiduro, and here we go again for Nuremberg. Beast in behind the goal, drops it back. Reimer's gonna fire! This time, Zagadulin up to the task. Got a shoulder on that one. When we talk about this power play coming in here, and the number one power play in the tournament, you see it. I mean, they set up well, they moved that puck well in there. Off the draw, this puck will be played all the way down the ice, so they'll have to retreat. Alone there, we'll get it to Buck. Buck in behind the goal, less than a minute to work. Moves it ahead, that pass behind Bast. Try to skate in after it here. Buckle, take down a bouncing puck and throw it back up to the point. Alone, far side, Acton. Acton comes back across to Buck. He's gonna walk right in, back door, and they score! Off the leg of a defender! Second of the tournament there for Brandon Buck. Power play strikes, Tigers back on top. Nice bounce back here for the Ice Tigers to retake the lead.
Now down into the corner. It's played around far side. And it'll be Kong, Kong down there just inside the blue line. And coming over to get it is Fox. Fox is going to walk in. Drops it back down in behind the goal. Siegel on it there for the Ice Tigers. Lurg and Fox there with him. Lurg now walking off the wall. Lurg at the blue line across to Siegel. Siegel with some traffic in front. Shot off of a stick. Up and out of play. The Ice Tigers regain the lead. Up 2-1 on Magnitogorsk. That's what happened. No, it went off of Barukov. Yeah, yeah, the goal was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was Buck from Acton and Malone. Malone passed over to Acton. Acton, Acton came back. We are in Vallant Arena here in Davos. Dustin Hilton and Doug Honecker with you closing in on midway point here. The do or die game Lokan. between Magnitogorsk and stay. Nuremberg. 1-0, the Ice Tigers led. The Russian club from the KHL tied it. And then the power play for the Ice Tigers puts them back on top. Brandon Buck second of the event. Now we'll get a good look at how Magnitogorsk possibly bounces back after once again falling behind. Back. Nursina tried to center it comes right to Kulam and the goal scorer for Magnitogorsk he's away Barfolomeyev far side walking in off wing shot low along the ice excellent opportunity Bender Far side, first pass, first time I mentioned Bender's name in the game. Buck stood up there as he tried to walk around Virokov, who had that last goal go off his leg. Rylov now gets center by himself, cuts into the middle, flips it to an open wing, no one home there. Lalonde plays it ahead. Reimer didn't see it behind some bodies, and it's all the way down the ice. Head coach Martin Yurinek of the Ice Tigers, an Alberta boy who found his way overseas. He's also the general manager of this club. Ryloff from the point, shot deflected, bounces in behind the net. That'll be taken into the corner. Beast, far side, a good look. Three of them through the neutral zone together. Malone's gonna drive the goal. They throw it across one timer and they score! It's the shooter! Maduro hammers it home, second of the tournament. And how about a cushion for the Ice Tigers? Goaltending change. Magnitogorsk has pulled. Hey, Zagadulin has been so good for them so far in this tournament. Pavel Nechitovsky, who's essentially their third string goaltender, now comes into the game. Is it a weird decision to pull? Yeah. I agree. 
and it's, he's not hurt or anything. He's just sitting at the end of the bench, so he had no chance on that one. It was an excellent shot from Maduro. Pushing and shoving at the side of the goal as Magnitogor is getting a little frustrated. Easy, stay cool. Hey! Everybody's got to talk to here. Okay. Hey, don't stop that. Looks like they've got it under control. <laughs> All right, now, looking at the goal again, I mean, that's a that's an NHL-style play from Fedoro. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent goal. And a big one, too, as they now have a 3-1 lead at the midway point of this hockey game. Nuremberg trying to book a rematch here with the Canadians. Festerling plays it to the right now, drives the net, puck in behind the goal. Sh shot on net there from a bad angle. It's the first test of the day for Nechitovsky. And back will come Yazkov. Yazkov throws it across, and Siegel did a good job there, tying up Dukarev, make sure he couldn't get a clean look. Siegel. Down in the corner. Bumps his man. Puck taken away. Backhander coming. That was from Fox, but it bounces into the corner. Fox goes over and plays the body. Siegel as well. Nuremberg sensing here that they're in a good spot. Nebus way up there playing the body. Here's a drag. Barfolo may have. Troidel closes the door. Puck still laying there. Cleared away back to the point. Not out. Fired in. Troidel another save. Rebound will bounce into the corner this time. Backhanded high and down the ice. Smart play there defensively, and it might work offensively as well. Tried to find Bassin, but it was broken up. Now Rasmussen back in here for Magnitogor. Drops it back. Toidal, his biggest save of the game, keeps his team in front by two. That's the earlier look, defended well there. You know, Magnitogorsk has had some good chances since they fell behind by two. Maybe actually feeling some urgency on it. Puck was loose, Packer Ryder in behind the goal. He's got a man in front, gives it to him, one-timer, high and hard over top of the net from Yuri Platonov. Now Bass just inside the blue line, battling there with Matushkin. It's knocked up the left wall. Here they are again. Pakarainen sends it towards the goal. Loose puck laying there, and he'll cover it up. <laughs> Rasmussen will be our second intermission guest. He had a heck of a season last year. Started in the NHL, was in the AHL, was in Sweden, and then finally decided to come to the KHL. That's, that's a coin, okay? Fine. Take it easy. Nothing happens. Watch us right skate. State defense. No. And that's for Canadians, for Swedes. That's for a fans. warning. You move too early. Matt Elson has been over here for a decade. Thanks. Whoop. Okay, guys. I shot a puck in the white. Stick. Yeah, not him. Here's Fiduro. He's given his team a 3-1 lead. He'll play it in behind the goal. Gilbert pressures from behind. This will be turned over. Move him off. Spent some time with the Flyers. Now throws it towards the blue eye. It's off the skate down into the corner. Once again, kept in here by Vera Shagan. Dorofeyev drops it off. 
Vasiliev faked the shot, then lost the handle on it. Gilbert will grab it, play it ahead. Blue line not out, kept in. Another crack at it here. This time, Reimer will get the job done. Through the middle of the ice. Kukarev battles for it in the corner. Three one, Nuremberg leading the KHL club. Justin Nielsen and Doug Honiger with you. Thank you for joining us for our Spengler Cup coverage here on TSN. Make Niedergorst now trailing 3-1, but they will have an opportunity on the power play. They have a power play goal in this game, Doug. This is a big chance to get back in this game. Pick. Marfolo Mea, pressure, knocks it down low, set up the last goal. Plays it back up top to Vereshchuk and far side for Rasmussen. He's going to walk in. Tried to find Ellison back door. That didn't work. He'll get it and play it all the way around where Marfolo Mea waits for it. Ellison now, fanned on it. He tried to hammer it around. And Aronson will move it ahead. And maybe an opportunity shorthanded here for Nuremberg. Acton's going to drive towards the goal. Brown has it on the boards. Wants to eat up some time here on the clock. He'll do just that, and then eventually lose it. Marfolo may have back here for Magnitogor. Stood up at the blue line there by Nevis. Nevis wasn't backing off at all, was he? Now in the corner, Siegel will battle here. Eventually taken away, Rasmussen headmans the puck for Marfolo may have. He's gonna get to center and hammer it in. Toidl comes out to stop it. Gilbert there to fire down the ice. Lubomov, pass across, deflected. Yersina couldn't get a handle on it. Now down in the corner, Belour. Hustling in down there, Festerling. Yersina, Yersina off of Reimer down the ice. Kibisov gets the blue line, leaves it there for Lubomov. Back up to the point, Matushkin, he'll fire deflected in front by Chibisov and Troidel, an excellent job to have that puck underneath him. Nikolenko on the draw, just less than 10 seconds remaining here in the man advantage. Ryloff down low. Nikolenko, he's going to send one on net. Troidel there with some traffic in front to light the game of Dukarev. Park Raylan doorstep. There's a second left. Yeah. He left the box early, so they brought him back. 
There's Mike Mifkowski who's serving the too many men. Had a beautiful goal last night, too. Look at your skate. Look at Stay, stay <laughs> on the wide. Stay, boys. Oh, and it's wide. not really your penalty. Stay and you're just wide. serving. You don't want to be in there any longer than you have to. Now he'll step out. Gilbert's going to ring it around the boards. And that's up and out of play. It's a big win there, face-off wise for Nuremberg. They struggled on draws in the first period. Ice time leader so far, Bear Shagan is playing a ton. He's almost at 14 minutes already. We haven't seen much of the two skip that we really like. Some of the fighter tonight. Yeah, he's on that top power play unit for them, whereas Matuska now on the second unit. Malone, the backhander, up. Beast is going to try to chase after Barukov in there behind the goal. Rylov comes over to help him out. Ice Tigers able to get a pin in the corner. Now another crack at it, Nikolenko. Nikolenko flips it ahead. And coming back here, Fedoro will grab it and just play it down the ice. Beast sends it the rest of the way, and Reimer will give chase. Reimer using his body to knock Birukov off the puck. How about that for a four check? Maduro was knocked down, and the puck squirts back out. Here's Kuhleman. He's going to try to drive wide. Puts on the brakes. Mebus forced him to turn around. Kuhleman drops it back off. Barfolomeyev comes back to Kuhleman, and Mebus broke that up at the last second. Barfolomeyev out for a one-timer. Squeaks through. Kuhleman blocked there, and now we've got a penalty coming up. A whistle as well. And the breather for the goaltender, Nicholas Troidel. Mebus heads off to the penalty box after he saved the goal earlier on Kuhleman. Then he took the high stick on Kuhleman. You see right there. Best player in the period, for sure, Kuhleman. Rare Shagan drops it back. Big power play here, and he can't keep it in at the blue line. Barfolomea drops it off for Rasmussen. Rasmussen, he's going to slow it down. Rare Shagan, far side. Tried to come back through the box to Rasmussen. It eventually gets there. Now Rasmussen will try a shot. Toidal, the first save, comes back to the point. Another one-timer off the side of the goal. Power play right now, one for four. Turnover here. Siegel's going to grab it. He'll just play it down and behind the net. And there's a little bit of room there for Brian Lerg. Lerg will kill off some time here as well. There's Shagan. has seen enough. He's going to pin him. Now Chibisov brings it ahead, cuts wide, gets the blue line and dumps it off. Takes it back, stripped away, and eventually back to the point. Settled down there by Matushkin. Sends one through, rebound, knocked to the near boards. Lubomov will come down, Chibisov's in there as well. Siegel will get it, hammered down the ice. Harrison stands up his man at the blue line, gives him an extra shot there as well. And now far side, a little bit of room. He'll throw it back across Lubomov. Couldn't control. Reverse to nobody. Non-existent on that play, and that allows the Ice Tigers to bring it back up ice the other way. Knocked down low. Rylov will grab it here. Power play about to expire. Magnita Gore is now one for five. Durakat's gonna try to change that. He's hooked down, draws a penalty. And back to the power play goes Magnitogorsk. Check the window.
Velour. Akarainen, moving them off, some NHL experience out here right now, but they can't win the draw all the way down the ice. Matushkin back here for Magnitogorsk. Calmly away, options to both his left and his right to Bisov. Gets it to Belour. Belour, Pakarainen knocks it in behind the goal. Lubomov will take over there. To Bisov. Return feed from Matushkin. To Bisov walks in, tried to throw it across, couldn't find Pakarainen. Pakarainen settles it down again. Up top to Matushkin. Matushkin, near side for Belour. Belour down loaded to Bisov. Bisov with back door, but it's off the stick of Yersina. Fresh legs over the boards for both clubs. Rasmussen looking there for Kuhleman. Kuhleman down low to Ellison. Ellison up top. Marfolo may have with a shot. And that one in behind the goal. He's taken down by Aronson. Kuhleman comes in. Ellison there as well. And eventually squirts loose for Rasmussen on the right wing wall. He's going to assess things here. Throws it back up to the point. Ryloff across. One timer coming. Blocked. Controlled. And played out down the ice. Here's Ellison, he's gonna walk in, drops it off, back up top, shot through, that one just wide, traffic in front. Kuhleman misses everybody and that's down the ice. Ryloff was kind of backpedaling towards him, not going along the blue line. Back to even strength, less than a minute to play. Looking for the trailer, that's gonna be broken up and played up the right wing side here. A little bit of speed. Kutanov comes in, cuts wide, rubbed off the puck by Lalone, and it'll be controlled here by Gilbert. Gilbert. Excellent reverse, which eventually ends up the ice for Buck, who takes a big hit there from Vasiliev, and the puck will slide around into the corner. Bast is gonna give chase down low, trying to keep this alive late in the period. Now swinging up, dropping it down for Buck. Less than five seconds ago, they'll center it all the way down the ice. And the Ice Tigers are gonna head into the room with a 3-1 lead. You have to like the position they're in, Dougie. Comfortable lead right now for the Ice Tigers, looking to book another game, this time a semifinal against Team Canada. They led by one after one. They lead by two after two, thanks to goals from Buck and Federal. Magnitogorsk, do they have a magical period left in them? Right now they trail 3-1. Okay, head down.
All right. I think McNeil goes gets one. I think it'll end three two or four two on an empty net. Michael, are you there? I just want to make sure I can hear you. Okay, perfect. You gonna sit down? Nope, nothing yet. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that at the beginning. Of the game. Excited for the final four games. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we get, to, we get to go home. <laughs> All of them. Try. I'd like to see what you dug, but I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, no, try. No, that'd be fine. <laughs> I didn't do any. <laughs> Third period action just around the corner here at Valiant Arena, Spangler Cup quarterfinal action. And it is a spot against Canada, what awaits the winner of this game. And it is the Ice Tigers right now, 20 minutes away from eliminating Meg Niedergorst. What are you expecting in the third, Dougie? If they do win today, they will play another afternoon game tomorrow against Canada. It's the first of the two semifinals. You know, these, these guys here, if they were to go on a run and win this whole thing, they'd have to play five straight days to get it done. Here's Varfolo Mayev, lost it in his feet. Gives it away. And diving ahead, rolls in, and Nechatovsky, who came into the game for Zegadulin, will cover it up.
Honiger, let's review your hunch from the first period. <laughs> hey, look, you can't get them all right, Doug. You can't get them all right. And this one's not over yet. There's a great look for Pakarainen off the side of the goal. Beast now controls. Troidel uh, has been pretty good when tested so far in this game. Yeah, outside of Varfolomeyev you mentioned, but Pakarainen shoots. Varfolomeyev doesn't really shoot. Yeah. Quickly on Varfolomeyev, who you were talking about. His first season here with Magnitogorsk, but he was an all-star in the KHL no. last year, and you see that in his game. Now down the ice, and this will be icing again. Continue. Yeah, he looks like a guy who can kind of really open it up and kind of handle the puck and shown it at times, maybe, maybe among the best actually as far as handling the puck goes for this Magnitogorsk club. Face up now to the left of Troidel, comes back to the point there, Shagan shot through, rebound there, Troidel got another pad on it, and a couple of good looks here for former NHLers early in the period. Pads along the ice, taking away the bottom area. Nowhere to go with that puck. Solid first two minutes. Watch We're making Igorsk as far as scoring chances go. Now those aren't going to be good enough. They got to find two into the back of the net here. Another icing. And at some point, you start to worry that this might come back to bite you. Nekolenko comes over the boards to get some legs out there here, fresh. Yazkov to his left and Dukarev to his right. Face off one back. Shot there, Vereshagin took it. Blocked, Malone's gonna go for a little bit of a skate. He'll get the center this time and flip it in. Goes down and gets the puck now as well. Afton digging in there and it'll be picked up. Yukarev wants to skate it, hit the linesman with it on the far side. Acton couldn't control it. And Zaitsev will take it in behind his net for Magnitogorsk. The rest of his teammates coming over the boards to join him. Zaitsev, Ellison. Ellison's going to skate it up to the blue line. Gains the zone, drops it back for Folomeyev. For Folomeyev. Tried to throw it up front to Kuhlman. That's broken up, kept into the point by Matushkin. He goes to Zaitsev. Zaitsev will fire. Varfolo may have looking for a deflection, couldn't get a piece. And Troido will hang on. There are two options. There are two options. You yep. take control of your players after the whistle, giving okay. shit to us. Next guy who's yelling at us, minor penalty out there. All right. We don't want to have that. We'll do okay. our job. You guys have to do your job. Exactly. We we'll do that. Okay. Right. How's that? It's a warning for the team, okay? Warning Simple explanation. Warning. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was watching him as he headed over. He's like, I'm going to go talk to your coach right now. Six, you got two options. Six, Martin Yurinek, the coach for Nuremberg, listening there. Packerina with a shot. Troidel. Busier in these three minutes than he has a whole game.
They've been winning them cleanly here. Seems like just on face-offs, they've rode all four lines out there for a draw here. Okay. Hagen Reinen, a shooter. Okay, that's okay. Big serve, please. 15 goals Big on the move. season coming in to this tournament. They try to knock it back to him again. Belur sends one through, and Troidel took a quick look behind as another quick attempt snagged it under his arm. That's me again. defense now this time one cleanly you're right <laughs> buck got the win now they'll play it down the ice and, oh my goodness icing waved off this time Rukov. rylov back to barukov in the corner he's gonna be pressured here scrambling a little bit rylov now plays it up the boards gets it out to the neutral zone knocked in here opportunity rasmussen walking in wrist shot blocker to side rasmussen's side of the goal has the puck stripped from him by erickson and calmly they'll move it out to the neutral zone nuremberg sending back a little bit too much for you right now Kuhleman gains his own. Ellison trying to track it down there. It'll be picked up by Lurg, and he moves it ahead to Fox. Fox in the middle for Gilbert. Siegel now with it. Waits, tried to go upstairs. Netsatovsky just got a piece of it. Caught him cheating, right? He was kind of leaning. Now down low here. Fox back to Siegel. Siegel will move it in behind the goal. Lurd goes in there after that. Gilbert will keep it in. Plays it in behind the net. Fox has Siegel in front. Couldn't find him. Tied up. Moves it up along the wall. Drops it back there to Lurd. Lurd now. Gilbert's going to come down on the right. Now he's in front of the net. Siegel throws it through. Through the skates of Gilbert. Back around to Fox who controls. That shift to the period here for the Ice Tigers. Sent in and Netsatopsky hangs on. Oh, he started to lean. That was a great slow moly there. So one shift, that one shift to kind of get everybody's juices flowing again. Yeah. Geese. He had Fedoro locked and loaded high slot. Now Reimer out front. Geese. Fedoro backhander. Rebound bounces over top of his stick. Lubimov in center. Hammers it in. Nebus over there. Knocks his man down. Platonov's going to try to tie up Nevis. And eventually it'll be controlled here. Reimer calmly in behind the net. The German vet. Vies, Fedoro, Nevis, and eventually out. Not even he could have brought that one down. <laughs> it was that high. Nevis, as Doug mentioned yesterday, 7-1 on skates. comes back to the point right point a ton of room to walk in throwing it across here eventually down into the corner from Virokov. right side for brown three of the ice tigers in brown fakes the shot now throws it across they jam the goal and netchatovsky will cover it up with just under six minutes gone in the third Faceoff will come to the blocker side right is Nechikovsky. Pick off there in the neutral zone. Bassin will now give chase. That's down into the corner. Vershagen in there as well. And Vershagen will now come up with it. Does he want to skate with it? 
slows down, just backhands it out to the neutral zone. Down the ice, Rasmussen will be the first person on it, the former Duck. And Blackhawk centers it. Didn't work, he'll take it back in the corner. Now Rasmussen. Bumped there by Ursina. Lure trying to work his way off the wall. Back to the point, Zaitsev, far side. One-timer coming there, Troidel down. Where's the puck? It's underneath him and will get a stoppage. Troidel keeping the door closed. Nuremberg leading 3-1. Can't, right? It's too tough. I think a lot of guys still probably sit down, but I stand. I will always stand forever. Right? I sit for football once in a while. Some of the stadiums, there's not a good viewpoint if I stand up, so I sit down. It's not too bad. I like calling football too, yeah. yeah I got really good at football this year. I've been doing it for a long time, but this year I was doing it every weekend. It's good. Welcome back to Davos. Dustin Nielsen, Doug Honiger with you. And time, Doug, starting to run out here for Magnitogorsk. Stay, guys. Get back. Skate. Stay. Puck down the ice. Barukov goes back here for Magnitogorsk. Finds Ellison. Ahead to Kuhlman. Kuhlman wanted to drop it off. Took a bump there from Aronson. Got spun around at the blue line. Festerling puts on the brakes in behind his own goal. Now moves it ahead. Gonna get a second crack at it is Festerling. He'll come around right side. Siegel on it there. He'll get the job done out and all the way down the ice. Tom Gilbert leading this Ice Tiger squad with over 15 minutes so far in the game. Vera Shagan, 17 and a half. For Magnitogorsk, face off one. I don't remember him playing that much in the first two games. Lubomov, neutral zone, nice move with speed now. Gets the blue line, knocks it towards the goal. And Troidel, he'll do this the rest of the way for 12 minutes. It'll be Beast who moves in to take this draw. Daniel Beast against Packerinen. Packerinen wins it. Into the corner for Rasmussen. Rasmussen pinned there. Puck not loose. Gilbert trying to come up with it. Rasmussen it comes back in his feet. Gets a little bit of help, but nowhere to go with this puck. Eventually, Federal just makes a nice play and chips it down the ice. Try to wind it up again. Right side, given away, Federal. Pokes it up and there Shagin gloves it up and out of play with just over 12 minutes remaining. So far here, Nate Niedergorst has scored just two goals in this tournament and then of course had a shootout winner on top of that. Acton, far corner, now they'll try to center it. Brown there, back up to the blue line. Nebus with a shot, and Tatoski down. Loose puck still laying there, back to the point. Settled down, Malone quickly sent it back towards Nett. He knew he had traffic. Now in behind the goal, Acton, can he get there? Opportunity for Vereshagin, he'll move it around, and it'll be chipped down the ice. 
And chasing there after it, Dukarev by himself here, tied up by Mivas. He'll lose that battle every time. Brown, fans on it. Opens something up here for Ellison. Ellison drops it. Barukov down low. Rylov on it there. Turns. Plays it in behind the goal. Ellison will pick it up there. Just got by him. And now knocks to the blue line and out to the neutral zone. Ellison wants to wheel back in. Drops it off. Marfolo may have spins off of the check. Has traffic in front. Can't get a shot through yet. Gonna take another look. Throws it across. Kuhlman. Quidle there. Moving left to right to get his shoulder on it. Nice feed from Marfolo Mea. Another look from Marfolo Mea. And Ellison this time, once again, the shoulder of Troidel denying Magnitogorsk. Marfolo Mea, oh, a nice move. Throws it across. This pass behind Ellison. Marfolo Mea dancing right now. He's got it again. Plays it to Ellison and stepping in there to break it up. Excellent job, and it'll be brought away here by the Ice Tigers. This is Bender, one end to the other, puts a shot on goal. Ellison bats it down, plays it to Marfolo Mayov, who wants a change, and he'll just knock it ahead. Nothing from it there. Nice chance there by Bast, called down. Passen in the corner. Bass comes over to help him out, comes over to try to tuck it in short side, and he draws a penalty because of his willingness to go to the net and a power play here for the best power play in the tournament. One for three today, three for 11 in the tournament. Fired down the ice, this group will have to restart inside with their own blue line behind their own net. Gilbert leads away, will he drop it back? Yes, he does. Now Lurk, far side, that's gonna be broken up momentarily. Beast will just kick it back. Gilbert, right side, will get the zone, Lurk. Down low, the defenseman, Tom Gilbert, in behind the net. Moves it all the way around to the point. Reimer settles it down. Two goals on the tournament. Reimer, down low. Back up top to Reimer again. He's got the girl at the side of the net. Reimer's going to walk in. Flips it down to the girl off from one-timer. Beautiful setup. And Netzerkowski with his biggest save of the game. The three German players out there on that power play together. Malone back here, he'll leave it. Intended to leave it, now he'll take it. Throw it up the right wing side. Pass a little bit too far for action, and that's gonna go all the way down the ice. They still have just over 50 seconds left here in the power play. An attempt to get a goal that would really seal this thing away. corner to Buck reverses it to Lalone some pressure here from Lubomov and now it'll be flipped ahead left wing side through the neutral zone he'll get the blue line Lalone had it bounce off his skin he'll try to track it down in the corner Barukov comes in there and hits him Lubomov as well Ice Tigers trying to grind this puck out of the corner eventually down the ice and they'll have to reset Brandon Buck He'll wind it up one more time. Brown, onside, puts on the brakes. Plays it to Buck down low in the corner. Back to Brown at the right point now. Will Acton, off the wall. Sends it down, side of the net. They'll try to throw it out front. Never got home to Bast. 
Buck now in the corner, reverses it around here to Acton. Power play about to expire. Acton waits, sends it towards the goal, and Netsitovsky got enough of it to hang on. The Ice Tigers less than eight minutes away from booking a ticket to the semifinal where they would face the Canadians for the second time in three days. Boy, come first, Blue. Blue? Yes. Yes. A drop trickled right towards the goal. It's going to come back to the blue line for Festerling. Festerling tried to send one through. That is up and out of play. Magnitogorsk running out of time. Ice Tigers still lead 3-1. The Ice Tigers of Nuremberg looking to hang on here against Magnitogorsk. Less than eight minutes to play, 3-1 the lead. That shot fired just wide. Doug, we've seen bursts from Magnitogorsk, but nothing consistent enough. Matushkin. His pass misses Pakarainen. And he'll be knocked back inside Ice Tiger territory. Now this puck remains in play, barely. And back around here to Barukov and the rest of his teammates will head off on a chain. They need two to stay alive. Rylov, center ice. He'll dump it in. Ellison. Had his foot up, he was offside, and this one will be blown down. Once again, now Ellison usually plays with Rosiaka. He didn't come here, they're giving him a rest for the tournament, and they missed him. I mean, this is a team that's got two goals and left the all-time leading KHL score at home. Here's Ellison now, flips it ahead. Varfolo Mayev gets around Yersina. Here's Varfolo Mayev, tried to go far side, save me. Ellison on the rebound, that's blocked and controlled by the Ice Tigers. Ryloff, Varfolo Mayev, far side, Kuhleman. Kuhleman sends one on net, up and off the stick of Nevis, out of play. Not as big as your Cena's. <laughs> he has been very good, you're right. Can I warn you? No. Okay. Wide first? Right. Off the draw. Controlled by the Ice Tigers. They'll get it to the blue line and out. A reset needed here. Lubomov will bring it back in. Puts on the brakes. Has some puck support there. Nekolenko throws it into the far corner. Bender there for the Ice Tigers. Right up the middle of the ice. And it will be taken over here by Nekolenko. Pops it back up top to Bisov. Feathers it over. Lubomov. No shot that we had there. Nekolenko back to the right point. Shot here. No. Nekolenko. Too much passing. And they're going to eventually lose the puck. Beast couldn't control it, they'll get it back. 
He's off again, right wing board. Throws it back to Orvera Shagan, had a bounce on him. And the Ice Tigers will move it away. Reimer flips it in. And Netsutovsky will have to hang on with a little bit of pressure right on top of him. Behind the net, Zaitsev flips it ahead. Pakarainen had to glove it down. It's broken up. Here's an opportunity to possibly seal it away. What a save! Netchikovsky comes across. Got a toe on it to deny Chris Brown. Rasmussen down the wing. Has some traffic in front. We'll throw it out there, and it'll bounce into the corner. Brown on it there. We'll chip it down the ice. Zaitsev, long pass ahead, up into the crowd, look out. And a stop, it's just under five to play. Excellent save. Yurnek wanted that one. Nechitovsky replaced Zagadoulin, which he thought was a okay. weird call at the time after he only allowed three and was basically their best player in the tournament. So Relax, it's just a face-off. Stay on your side, okay, bodies? Okay, right. Yep. Virokov. Ryloff tried to send it in, but actually bounced right up into the bench, so we'll get another quick stoppage and a face-off once again just outside the blue line. Ice Tigers have to be feeling pretty good about themselves considering everything Someone was really against them. Diving. All the way down. They'll be taken in behind the goal. Magnitogors needs a pair. They've only scored two goals in the entire tournament, really. Now it'll be brought ahead in over the blue line. They'll put on the brakes. Ellison hit there, comes back to the point, and a penalty coming up. So Magnitogorsk's power play is going to go to work again. And now we've got some pushing and shoving right in front of the net. One stick drop. Okay. He got a penalty. He got it. He got it. Stay to it. Hey, let him go. What are you going to do? OK, we go. Off we go. Power play, seventh of the game for the KHL club. Let me ask you this, you've been here for like ever. <laughs> when was the last time the gloves dropped in this event? It's a Christmas tournament, right? <laughs> hey, he's on the ice! He's right there! He's on the ice! Face off will come to the blocker side right of Troidal. Just over four minutes left. They need to. Really quiet. I want the stick from the white and then on the blue. Have to score on this power play if you're Magnitogorsk. He hasn't played a lot on the power play. Or Majushkin. Played around here for Rasmussen. Back in behind the goal. Ryloff, watched there by Bass. Barfolomeyev moves it to Kuhleman. 
And Nikolai Kuhleman, who does have the goal here, moves it ahead. Stripped at the blue line. Rasmussen following up, though. Circle back again. Ellison gets the zone on the backhand. Just calmly drops it off the boards. Now, Kuhleman wide open there. Tried to shot. They pulled the goaltender. It's a six on four. Three and a half left. Make Magnitogorsk is going to go for it right here. Pakarainen parked right in front of the net. Morfolo Mayev. Pakarainen brings it out. Trying to tuck it upstairs. Another penalty coming up. This one against Aronson. And it looks like we could see a five on or six on three for 67 seconds. We call a timeout here to draw something up. Or you just say, look, we're going to have a six on three if we want it. Go from there. Cross check, Aronson. And they don't deserve it. 67 seconds, six on three. Get back into right skate defense. Face-off win would be Six. huge here for Vies. Knocked it back. Gilbert backhander down the ice. Does it have the empty net? Off the post. Gilbert hits the post. That would have ended it. Rasmussen down into the corner. He'll reverse it up top here for Ellison. 45 seconds now in the six on three. Ellison across, Ryloff couldn't take it. Ellison again, down low, Varfolomeyev. Tons of traffic in front. Ellison, now down low for Rasmussen. Throws it up front, down the ice, empty net. Rolls just wide. Rasmussen's gonna hammer it around, Troidel. Comes out to stop it. Justina, can he get there? Puck bounces up in the air. And Pakarainen will play it back around to the point. Five or six on three, just about to expire. Rasmussen far side. Ellison couldn't get a shot off. He's got Ryloff back at the point. Comes across to Varfolomeyev. Varfolomeyev spins back. He's going to be watched closely here by Miskowski, who was in the box. And now it's all the way back out to the neutral zone. Less than two to play. Their power play has scored today, but has had a ton of chances. Matushkin, far side, Tabisov, wants a shot, not gonna take it, they'll move it down low, trying to come back door, up into the crowd, and out of play with just over 90 seconds left. Could have taken it. the deal right Come there to Tom Gilbert. Back on the ice, far side of the screen there is Tom Gilbert. 14 and right. Face off, scramble, controlled here by Magnitogorsk. Down 3-1 in the corner. Lubomov comes back up high to Bisov, parked in front. Can they get a shot through? Lubomov, left wing wall, down low into the corner to Nekolenko. Takes a return feed. Nekolenko now throws it across, back door again. That one misses. Matushkin will move in to keep it alive. Nikolenko gets some help from Chabisov. He'll reverse it down low to Belour. Belour finds a little bit of room for himself. Six on five, make Nidegorst looking for one just to get going here. Mebus falls. Bassett is able to get it out to the neutral zone. Chabisov will bring it back in right away, drops it back. He'll come to Lubomov, down to Chabisov. Chabisov tried to find Nikolenko. Fair shot and denied. Troido comes across and closes the door.
He was challenging, right? He was at the top of his crease. Back to the point now. Just over 30 seconds to play. Down in behind the net, Platonov. He's gonna be pinned there by Yersina. You're going nowhere if he's got you pinned. <laughs> the puck is in there. Four Ice Tigers in behind the goal, trying to protect this two goal lead. Troidel watching on, it's gonna come back to the point here. They'll move it over into the middle, down low, shot off a stick up and out of play with less than 10 seconds to go and the Ice Tigers on the verge of finishing off Magnitogorsk. Beaten just once for Troidel. And the Ice Tigers will be playing for a fourth consecutive day, Doug. On your right. I show the puck. Get back! Okay. Stick. Stick. On your right. Off the draw. Bounces around to the blue line. Shot through. Trying to watch it just bouncing behind the net. Nevis will knock it into the corner. And that will do it. The Nuremberg Ice Tigers playing their third game in three days pick up their first win of the tournament and will advance to take on Team Canada in the semifinal tomorrow afternoon. Magnitogorsk goes home with a disappointing effort. Nicholas Troidel, sensational between the pipes for the Ice Tigers. They get goals from Reimer, Buck, and Fiduro to pick up their first win and book a ticket to the semifinal against Team Canada. 3-1 the final here over Magnitogorsk. Nick Router with more coming up.